Hello brothers and sisters in Christ, another series of Bible by the Pond, memory verses. Please turn to Proverbs 16, 18. And the clouds and the fogs coming in quick. <laughs> Wanted to knock out another one of these because I got banned from YouTube for a week, so I'm kind of behind in getting some of these out to the brethren. So let's read it together. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. This is one of my memory verses, brothers and sisters in Christ, because it's so important to remember. The big fallacy about this, this world, this, uh, I don't know what the Bible perversions do to this, you'd have to look into it, but I remember being told that pride goes before a fall, pride goes before a fall, you better be careful, if you get too prideful you're going to stumble and fall. That's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches pride goes before destruction. If you let pride into your life, it will destroy you. It will destroy your ability to be useful in the ministry if you're in ministry. It will destroy your ability to be useful among the brethren when it comes to fellowship. If your pride gets too much, you're going to start uh, causing drama. And you're going to hold grudges and bitterness, and bitterness will start to come in when it comes to fellowship. Oh, he did wrong by me. Okay, did he repent? Yes, forgive him. Don't get too prideful. It also works the other way. I'm pointing at me. If you got called on doing something wrong, don't get prideful. Okay? Just come forward and come clean. Hey, I did wrong. I apologize. Don't let pride come into your life and start running your life. Because when pride starts running your life, brothers and sisters in Christ, it leads to destruction. Remember this verse and memorize it. Pride goeth before destruction. Not a fall. Destruction. What goes before a fall? A haughty spirit before a fall. What's going on there? It's going to say that you're going to start to get a haughty spirit. You're going to stumble and fall. And before you know it, you can, that haughty spirit can become pride. And when it becomes pride, that little fall is nothing compared to what pride will do to you. Destruction. Remember we read in the New Testament about giving uh, someone over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh that the soul may be saved. Talking about people that are, in, that are very prideful, they're in wicked, wicked sin, they refuse to repent, and you've got to put them out in the world and just treat them like a lost person and say, to the, for the destruction of the flesh. Destruction is serious. When you see the word destruction, it is very serious. When you see fall, all we always stumble... I mean, brethren, we all stumble and fall, right? But when it comes to destruction, that's a different story, brothers and sisters of Christ. And your walk with the Lord, you're going to stumble and fall throughout your walk with the Lord. But you're not going to be destroyed unless you let pride come in and start ruling your life. Then the Bible says God will step back and say, Okay, if you're going to want that pride, I'm going to chasten you. And I'm going to try to get you back on the right path. But if that pride just keeps lingering, keeps lingering, God will destroy you. He will destroy a Christian. And you'll wind up in heaven standing right in front of him and having to answer for why he missed out on so many rewards. Right? It's so important, brother and sister Christ, that when you memorize scripture, make sure you're memorizing it correctly. It's not pride goeth before a fall. It's pride goeth before destruction. And make sure, brothers and sisters in Christ, that you're not just memorizing it, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Make sure you're putting it here in your heart. That's what this is all about. Do I have pride in my life? Do I have a haughty spirit that could lead to pride? And that pride can lead to bitterness. Lord, help me not have pride. And talk to the Lord about areas in your life where you think you might have pride. Say, Lord, take this pride from me. Okay, go for a walk with your memory cards. Get a set of memory cards with memory verses that you can walk and talk with the Lord. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.